Hello everyone, my name is Russell Wright from ThemeZoom.com and I am the CEO of ThemeZoom and Network Empire and wanted to answer this question on Quora called What is Silo and SEO? There's a lot of answers and some of them are great answers uh, but one of the things I've noticed is that no one is really talking about what website silo architecture actually does and the results of website silo architecture remains to be ranking higher for far fewer inbound links than your competition in our tests, up to 90% fewer inbound links. And of course, uh, this should be obvious to you that this saves a ton of money uh, because inbound links are getting more and more expensive and becoming more and more against the rules to manually purchase from link uh, broking services. We're finding that website silo architecture is still working and working better than ever. And I want to point out that when you look at the tradition behind website silo architecture, of course, on the search engines, Bruce Clay comes up first, and then the rest of my sites are present uh, with some other great authors talking about this topic. Um, Bruce Clay taught me the concept of website silo architecture, I believe somewhere in 2006. Uh, it might have been even a little bit earlier than that, uh, and it was the most difficult part of the course because it's confusing, and it combines technology with content or talk, uh, basically the wireframe or the structure of the site with the copywriting and the articles in the site. So if you look on the second listing under website style architecture, I have a pretty good wiki article that covers the results of our testing for website silo architecture. And uh, maybe watch the video where I talk about the results that we had for one of our higher paying and larger clients. Let's talk just really briefly about website style architecture and how it really works. First and foremost, you have your home page. And the home page is where a lot of people drive inbound link traffic. In fact, through the years, you find that most of the big companies, corporations that are ranking for broad keyword terms point way too many inbound links to their home page. You want to go deeper into the site so you can get something that I've coined in the industry as a term called buoyant page rank. And what happens is when you start getting inbound links to your deeper pages, that is your supporting pages, your categories, and the rest, what happens if these pages are properly linked internally into the site with the same keyword and themes, what we call a uh, theme mirroring, then what happens is that page rank floats upwards, it's called buoyant page rank, because it's kind of like giving, it's really more of a metaphor, but it's like a lot of air pushing an empty jar up under the water when it's full of air, it kind of pops up to the top. So this is a metaphor we tried to use in the early years for a student to understand that theme clustering and page linking internal to the site is extremely helpful when you reach your end goal for external linking. So when you have people linking off-site to those pages that are properly internally linked, then Google gets you extra credit, more or less, because your site is put together so well structurally. Okay, So that's the essence of what website silo architecture is about. And to be honest with you, this technique uh, really did take uh, thousands of dollars worth of time in the early years to do this manually. Uh, as you probably know, I'm, uh, you know, the Kraken software, the ThemeZoom software, of which I'm the co-developer, uh, costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to build. And essentially, uh, our goal was to automate the process of this ranking uh, technique. And we got it mostly automated with that, but now you don't need to bother with really super expensive softwares and technologies in order to do that because we have a simple plugin that you can download for free called the SEO Silo uh, Builder WordPress plugin. All you have to do is go to siloblogbuilder.com and I'll leave that link uh, below this video in this core question and hopefully you can just follow the instructions. If you have a test WordPress blog, you can literally just watch our video and you can download the free plugin and it's meant there's a manual feature you can see this image right here you can just import or even type in a keyword so for example I was kind of being silly but I made a the site about cookies and cakes and then you can see the silo landing page let me just pull out my marker here the silo landing page is chocolate chip cookies the second silo landing page is organic Oreo cookies the third silo landing page is paleo diet cookies and the fourth is the cookie diet. But you can also see that we have sub-articles. These sub-articles follow under the silo landing page. 
This is extremely important to realize that it's not native to WordPress to be able to do this with proper linking structure. They give you tag pages and category pages and all kinds of nonsense which honestly, when misused or overused or not properly set within your SEO plugins such as Yoast SEO or SEO Ultimate, um, can actually hurt your rankings. So we've made it really easy for you uh, to just kind of get everything in the right order and make sense to your users. Okay, And inside our members area we talk a lot about persuasion architecture versus SEO architecture. You don't want to get so caught up in SEO that you forget your conversion. So even though you might have the keywords in the SEO structure, you're also going to need to have uh, good copy and good copywriting on those individual pages. So for example, um, we help you get the structure set up so if it's chocolate chip cookies, you're still going to need to take our other courses or um, on your own auspices you're going to need to write a good headline. So the headline is not going to be chocolate chip cookies. The headline is going to be uh, 10 kinds of chocolate chip cookies or if it's organic Oreo cookies it's going is it po your, your title could be where can I buy organic Oreo cookies question mark. So this is the framework but you still have to add what we call the persuasion architecture on it. However all of the work setting up the proper silo infrastructure is gone and you can spend your time doing what you really should be doing which is writing great content and adding excellent videos to your content knowing that you have the best possible SEO infrastructure out there. So do feel free to download our free plugin and if you have any more questions um, also feel free to hit me up on Skype at ThemeZoom that's T-H-E-M-E-Z-O-O-M -E -E and what I do if you contact me there is I add you to our Network Empire Basic Groups and there are some very powerful discussions happening happening there that some of the topics are only um, uh, provided to our certification members so you'll pick up some really powerful tips in there. There's about 200 members in that Skype group so I do hope to see you. There's a lot to learn about website silo architecture so I hope that that really did help answer your question what is silo in SEO and this is not by any means a comprehensive comprehensive coverage of what uh, silo architecture is, but it certainly can help you have a better understanding of what it accomplishes, what the benefits are, and how it might help you in the future. My name is Russell Wright from NetworkEmpire.com. We'll see you on the inside.